Lost 45 by Al Kent on Billboard's Hot 100 of September 9th, 1967. You got to pay the price. Al Kent, his real name, Albert Prentice Hamilton. His instrumental, com instrumental coming in at number 60. Uh, well, actually going from number 60 to number 53 the week of September 9th, 1967. We are on the Hot 100 that week. Coming out of the summer of love. Going to try to kick in about four videos from, uh, from this Hot 100. Al Kent, Golden World. He worked with the Golden World record label as a songwriter. Golden World was a competitor to Motown back in the back in the early to mid '60s. The Rick Tick label was twinned with the Golden World label. Rick Tick founded, I believe, in 1964. Pretty successful label in Motown. One of the successful artists, Edwin Starr. Barry Gordy of Motown, he did not like the success of Rick Tick. He said, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy these guys out. I don't want I don't want this big competition here in here in the Motor City. I'm gonna get these guys, I'm gonna buy their contracts out. And that's what he did. 1968, Barry Gordy paid one million dollars for the signatures. I presume the contracts for the artists, or at least some of the artists that were on the Rick Tick label, and they were absorbed into Motown. Now this gets a little confusing for me because I got to read a little bit more about the about Golden World because I'm interested in the Golden World. If I remember correctly, the Reflections, who did Romeo and Juliet, they were off the Golden World record label, and there's the Rick Tick label, and uh, got to do a little bit more research. But from what I've been able to piece together, after the acquisition by Motown, Al Kent's name started to appear more often on the Rick Tick label as a producer and as a songwriter. Kept coming out with some instrumentals, or at least some, he released some sides of his own, including You Got to Pay the Price. Man, it reminds me of the You Got to Pay the Piper by the Chairman of the Board. Man, that's some jams right there, but I don't want to get too excited, too heated up. I want you to listen to the guitar work in this, in this record. That's got that classic Motown sound. Compared to the guitar work in this record to a song that came out late 67, early 68 by the Marvelettes. My baby must be a magician, but he sure got the magic touch. Oh, God, I get goosebumps when I think about that record. But the guitar work is so similar. The guitar is so similar between these two records. I have a feeling that maybe the Marvelettes record and I forgot who produced the Marvelettes record. Might have borrowed a little bit from the Al Kent instrumental from the late summer of 1967. He did work for Motown for a while, Al Kent did, and then he moved on to the Westbound label and worked with the Fantastic Four, who never had a top 40 hit on pop, but were a big soul group back in the day. At number 60, well, actually jumping from number 60 to number 53, seven notches up to 53, Eventually went to number 49 on Billboard's Hot 100. Al Kent, you got to pay the price. Billboard's Hot 100 of uh, September 9th, 1967.